Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to make a 14 channel radio frequency controlled switch. Using this circuit we can control 14 devices that means we can independently switch on and off 14 devices. Let us start making this. This is RF transmitter and receiver module which is working in 433 MHz. Whatever digital data we are giving into the transmitter will be transmitted and received by the receiver module. This module is using ASK or amplitude shift keying technique. ASK is a type of amplitude modulation which represents the binary data in the form of variation in the amplitude of the signal. Since this is using amplitude modulation, the range of this module is high. This module will work in 3.3 to 5 volt. With the help of this module, the transmission of data became very simple. Implementation this in any circuit is also very simple. We don't need to worry about the complications of modulation and demodulation. Everything will be taken care by this module. This is Encode IC HT12E. This is an 18 pin IC and this is its counterpart IC that is Decoder IC HT12D. This is also an 18 pin IC. Both are 4 bit data IC and also 8 bit address bits are available. We are using encoder IC in transmitter part and decoder IC in receiver part. This is 74138 which is a 3 line to 8 line decoder. This IC we will use in the receiver section. The IC has enable pin and with the help of that pin we can cascade one more decoder and switch 16 devices. This is 74148 which is an 8 line to 3 line encoder. We are using this IC in the transmitter section. I have created a video on these two ICs in action as a short video. I will give the link in the description box for your reference. This is an 8 pin DIP switch which is used for fixing the address of the HT12E encoder and HT12D decoder. In my earlier RF videos, we used fixed address for HT12E encoder and HT12D decoder. But here we can fix any number as address. By sliding each switch, we can change the address of encoder and decoder. Since it has 8 switch, we can create 2 raised to 8, which is 256 valid addresses for decoder and encoder. Please watch the video completely because I will be explaining a lot of things while assembling. All ICs and modules which are used in these circuits are working on 5 volt only. So please be alert while powering this circuit. We will first assemble the transmitter section and later we will assemble the receiver section. This is the circuit diagram of the transmitter part. You can see 8 bit DIP switch which is used for setting the address of the transmitter and HT12E which is a 4 bit encoder IC and you can see 74LS148 which is a uh, 8 to 3 bit priority encoder chip which means this IC has 8 input where we connect 8 micro switches and 3 binary output pins that is when we press one switch it will be converted to its 3 bit binary form and the MSB of the HT12E which is pin number 13 is connected to the sender pin of the two way slide switch one terminal of the two way switch is connected to the positive supply and the other terminal is connected to the negative supply which means the MSB of the 4 bit data is either 1 or 0. You can see the other data pins which is pin number 10, 11 and 12 is connected to the uh, positive supply via 10k resistor. Even though we have connected 8 micro switches in the 74148 IC, we can only use 7 switches effectively because the output of 74148 will always be in one state and that state we cannot control. We need to use the enable pin for controlling it. I will fix this issue in the future. You can see only 8 switches here. Then how can we control 14 devices using this transmitter? With the help of that slide switch, we can control 14 devices. When the slide switch is in one position, we can control 7 devices. And when the slide switch is in another position, we can control another 7 devices. Uh, thus, a total of 14 devices can be controlled using this transmitter. I already told you that the center pin of the slide switch is connected to the MSB of the HT12E uh, encoder IC. That bit is used for controlling the 74LS138 which is a priority decoder IC which we are using in the receiver part. I am going to assemble this circuit in a common board. I will assemble it and will come back. 
I have completed the assembling of the transmitter part. Uh, you can see I have connected the uh, DIP switch for setting the address. This is encoder uh, HD12V encoder IC and this is 741. 48 which is the priority decoder IC. I have connected uh, 8 switches in the uh, transmitter but I already told uh, told that we can only control 7 devices but I have added uh, 8 switches because in the future I will fix those issues that 1 bit issue. So the, we can I, I can or we can use the uh, 8 switches in it. You can see the slide switch which is connected to the circuit itself. Uh, with the help of this slide switch we can control 14 devices using one transmitter. It is better to assemble this in a PCB than in a common board because you can see it full of wires are there. I haven't connected the antenna. The antenna should be connected in this pin. You can see the transmitter part. The transmitter uh, you can see it is actually slided to the socket. If you have watched my previous videos of 8 channel RF switch or 4 channel RF switch you can get clear picture about how we can connect the socket for this transmitter. Without antenna you will get 10 meter range. Our transmitter part has completed. We will look into the next section. Now we will start assembling the receiver section. This is the schematic of the receiver section. If you have watched my video of 8 channel RF switch, you can see that this circuit is exactly similar to that one. Using this circuit, it can handle only 7 devices, but I have given 8 controls. That is because in the future I will fix this issue and at that time we can use 8 controls. I told you it can control 14 devices. I will tell you how it can be done. But before that watch the pin number 13 of HT12D. Through 1K resistor it is connected to the base of BC547 and the collector is given to the 6th pin of 74138 which is a priority decoder and if you are giving a high signal to that 6th pin of 74LS138 then that IC will become enabled. You don't need to give a high signal to that pin because by default that 6th pin is high. That means if you are not connecting that 6th pin to any other thing then that 6th pin will be in high state. The 13th pin of HT12D is the MSB of the 4-bit data. If you are giving a high in the MSB then BC547 will become on and a 74LS138 will become disabled. BC547 is acting as a NOT gate here. Not exactly a NOT gate but it is a kind of NOT gate. If I am making one more circuit of 74138 and giving the MSP of HT12D that is the 13th pin directly to 6th pin of 74138 what will happen? That is in one circuit we will give MSB through 547 transistor and in the other circuit we will give directly to 6th pin then when MSB is high state one IC will become enabled and the other will be in the disabled state and when MSB is at low state the enable IC will be reversed. Now you understood how we can control 14 devices using this circuit. Kindly watch my 8 channel RF switch and 4 channel RF switch. I will give the video link in the description. After you watching that you will get clear picture about how this circuit is working. This is the switching circuit. You can see it is wired using CD4017 which is a famous decade counter. The, the circuit has nothing. Uh, uh, the second pin is the output and fourth pin is connected to the 15th pin. 14th pin is the input pin that is connected uh, to the BC557 transistor. That is the collector of BC557 transistor. I have assembled the circuit and you can see this is the DIP switch which is used for setting the address and this is HT12D which is a uh, decoder IC and the other both ICs are 74138 which is priority decoders. Using that IC we can control 14 devices. I have connected uh, 16 LEDs on it. Out of the 16 LEDs 14 can be used. 2 we cannot use it. I already told you the reason why we cannot use the 2, uh, two LEDs. So, sorry no 2 controls. Uh, in the future I will fix that issue and that time we can use the 16 devices. That is why I have already connected the 16 LEDs. You can see I have given some space between the IC and the LEDs that we will be using in the future because the BC557 switching transistors we will be connecting in that area and after that we will make the switching circuit using CD4017 and we will plug those things into into this circuit. That means the switching circuit will be separately be built in separate uh, PCBs and we will plug those things into this circuit.
let us test this circuit i have not connected any antenna on it because if, if you are using this inside one room you don't require any antenna because this uh, without antenna you will get 10 meters range i am connecting the uh, 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 power supply to the receiver circuit after that you can see the uh, signal led is in off condition because the transmitter is off you can just watch the signal led when we are connecting the power supply to the transmitter circuit you can see the binding has happened now the transmitter and receiver is binded you can see one led is always connected we cannot control that led because that uh, that led will be always be on in position you already know what is the reason so that is why i am telling i can control only seven on top and seven leds on bottom so, so a total of 14 uh, devices can be controlled using this circuit let's press the second switch you can see the second led is lighting Now we will change the address of the receiver. The moment I change the address, you can see the binding is uh, gone. The LED, signal LED becomes off. Now we will set the same address in the transmitter. You Please watch the signal LED. The moment I set the address of the transmitter to the same address of the receiver, the binding will happen. Please watch the LED. Now everything will work fine. You can independently control 14 devices using this cost effective circuit. The, tri the, circuit, the transmitter has a range of 110 meter in open space that is in line of sight. If you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video or circuits, please comment on this video. Also watch my other RF switches using the same transmitter and receiver module. Now without connecting the antenna, I have placed the receiver at the outside of my room. It is placed outside the door on, uh, on the floor and the transmitter is in my working desktop. I already told you without antenna this will work in a range more than 10 meter. It will work perfectly fine.
if you like this video then please click like button and also if you dislike this video then please click dislike and please mention the reason why you dislike this video please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you this is tech insert signing off see you in another video till then goodbye and please take care